brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you the uh, replacement of the radiator overflow bottle on this 97 Dodge Intrepid. Um, fairly simple. Tools you'll need are a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet extension, uh, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of regular pliers, and a flat blade screwdriver. Give us room to work. We're going to pry up on these clamps and loosen them. Okay, pry up there. Loosen that and pull this whole intake tube right out of the way. Now there's two 10 millimeter bolts up here and then a plug right down here. You actually pry out the middle of that plug and then pull it out. Okay, so here's your plug. And what I did is I reached in there first with the screwdriver, kind of pried it out a little bit. Then I reached in with the pliers and pulled it out more. Okay, and then I was able to pull it with my fingers right out. 10 millimeter socket, extension, and a ratchet. Then there's a clamp up top, standard set of pliers. Squeeze the clamp, move it off the bottle. Just twist the hose and you can grab onto your pliers. Just get it broken free. That hose. This is your overflow tube. I'm gonna pull it up. Again, just twist a little bit to get it loose. Pull it off. Down. Okay, then the last hose, again with a, your pliers, you would squeeze this and take it off. And the bottle comes right up and out. Okay, my bottle is still in fine shape, so I'm not gonna. Once you, if you have fluid in here, when you undo this um, clamp and take that hose off, you'll get some liquid leaking out. I don't really want it to le leak out because mine's in fine shape. Um, but you can see, new one from 1A Auto. If yours is broken or cracked, it's gonna go in. It's all correct, it has the brass reinforcements. Okay, and it's going to bolt right in. Reinstall. And then just start these bolts. Okay, let's take our overflow tube, put it up through the hole, and in and down. Okay, we put our lower tube on and put the clamp back in place. Put this upper tube on. Pliers. Work the clamp right back into place. 
And before we tighten these up, we'll take our uh, push pin. And I notice I'm tightening these up. Um, check your radiator, open up your radiator cap, make sure your radiator is fill, filled within a half an inch of the top, and then put some coolant into this bottle as well. Okay, put this back on. I usually start with these ends on the tube itself. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.